tries to pull me faster than I can do. Therefore, I give it high time that I reap the rewards of my final years. I've been looking all over for you, Master Fustein, but it seems that I have found you. God save you, Master Doctor. You are well met yourself, my good fellow. Well, I have found you. I have brought $4,000 to buy your sports car because I am tired of walking. I hardly think so, but I'd offer you at five. Alas, I only have $4,000. That's a thousand more. For goodness sake, sir, take his offer. He's a, she's a good fellow. <laughs> Why not? Drive without employing the button? Yeah, it will. It has no function of its own mind. You, I mean. Push the big blue button or big yellow button. It will never do it. Then thanks, Doctor. I've made it. I'd never sell a car for 4000 I'll get it from your butler. If there's an issue, will you diagnose it? Ah, uh, I haven't kind enough as is. Do I look like a mechanic? to die. In the grandest scheme, my fate draws nearer and nearer. I, I wallow in my own despair, but for what? Perhaps if I rest, my mind will find solace. This can't be the only way. Dr. Fustine, indeed. My God, what kind of doctor is he? He has flabbergasted me and purged me of four thousand dollars, which I shall never see again. But again, I am the idiot who wouldn't listen and obey his command, not to push the red button. Oh, but the blue button's effect was marvelous music, and the yellow button's marvelous massage in my seat. So, like a fool, I pressed the red button and was in the next moment riding a wagon pulled by a horse. And at that rate of speed, the wheels collapsed from under me, and I was very nearly met my end at the pavement. Dr. Faustus, I'll have my $4,000 back from you, so help me one way or another. There is his butler. Sir, where is your master? Why do you ask, fellow? You cannot speak with him. I do believe I will. Given that he's fast asleep, I shall let him know another time. No, I will now, or I will trash this place more than it already is. Again, he has not slept for eight nights. I do not care if he slept for eight nights. As you can see, he is fast asleep. Oh, uh, that's the doctor, all right. I cannot believe I gave him $4,000 for a wagon. As you can see, he cannot hear you. So, Mr. Doctor, you will not wake? Well, I will wake you, if anything. Oh, what the? What the night blazes have I done? My leg. Oh, my leg. Please stop, police. Call the police. Call the ambulance, my leg. Now you've done it, I'll take you to the police for this. No, sir, anything else. I'll give you 4,000 more. Then show me the money. Well, it's back in my hotel. Come there and I'll get it for you. Go quickly. Finally. She's gone. Good riddance. I've got my leg back. She has a wreck of a wagon for her labor. I take it. No silver frame will cost her 4,000 more. Sir, the Duke of Grandville earnestly asks for your company. The Duke of Bond. He's an honorable man, to my honor, sure, part of my knowledge, and he knows she's getting caught as a person. Come, Mr. Paul, please. Let us see him at once. I forgot my line. <laughs> I have 
found you. God save you, Master Doctor. You all well met yourself, Mother Paul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Will it drive without employing the button? Yeah, it will. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at yourself, Faustus. What are you but a man condemned to die? In the grandest scheme of things, my fate draws closer and closer. I, I wallow in my own in my <laughs> Doctor Fustine, indeed. My God, what kind of a doctor is he? Has flabbergasted me and purged me of four thousand dollars. Which I shall never see again. Oh, <laughs> so, Mr. Doctor, you will not wait. Well, I will wake you if nothing else. Oh, my leg. No, you done it. I will take you to the police. <laughs> where he's supposed to go. Yeah. Oh, stop, please. It's the police. Call an ambulance for a leg. No, you done it. I'll take you to the police for this. <laughs> Got my leg again. There's a wreck of a wagon for his labor. I just, okay, I said he, like, 